Good morning, here is today's prayer. Dear Righteous God, I ask you to teach me the wisdom that James wrote about in his New Testament letter. Count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. James 1 verses 2 to 4. Thank you for using circumstances and events to move me to your perfect place of blessing and opportunity. Please move me to the places that you desire for me. Help my faith to grow stronger. Help me to be more patient and dedicated to you. King of Righteousness, I praise you in the midst of my trials, knowing that I can learn from you to be complete, lacking nothing. Thank you for being with me through every trial, and every day. In the righteous name of Jesus I pray. Amen. Jesus, the King of Righteousness. To whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all. First being translated. King of Righteousness. And then also King of Salem. Meaning, King of Peace. Hebrews 7 verse 2. Melchizedek had the title, King of Righteousness, and Jesus is the prototype of Melchizedek. Jesus is the King of Righteousness for three reasons. First, Jesus is the King of Righteousness because He is the source of holiness and righteousness, both doing the right things and doing them rightly come from Him. Second, Jesus will rule in a righteous way, which means He will always do things right, yield to Jesus so He can direct your heart to do things right. Third, Jesus will rule over a righteous kingdom. That hasn't happened yet, but after his second coming, Jesus will rule over a righteous kingdom on earth. You should live every day, including this day, in preparation for his return and the coming of his righteous kingdom. Lord Jesus, in the past I have put you upon the throne of my heart. But for this new day, I again crown you king of my life. Help me live a righteous life. If Jesus is your king, he wants you to live a righteous life today, which means you'll think right, decide right and act right. Jesus knows you're not perfect, 1 John 1 verses 8 to 10, but if you intend to always do the right thing, he'll forgive your sins, 1 John 1 verse 7, and you'll grow in grace. He'll bless you and use you. Go deeper. Hebrews 7 verses 4 to 10. To have a righteous life, you must give Jesus control. Tomorrow, Jesus, a stone of stumbling. 